Well, it's an early start this morning. It's just after seven o'clock. Uh, we're down early because we need to put the boat back in the, the water today. And to do that, we have to come down when the tide is out to lower the trailer and the, the boat into the, the slipway. And then leave it till high tide. And then we can uh, motor the boat off the, the trailer. So, um, it's going to be all go this morning, but um, the boat, I think, is looking well. Looking very much more like a sailboat now that all the sails are up and she's ready to go. So after successfully getting the boat painted and the mast up, it was time to do all the other little things we needed to get sorted before the boat went back in the water. So here we started off by getting the boat attached back to the mast. You help me feed the seal in. See the head of the seal there. Down that side, babe. Could you clip that in? Out of the road, and then they so these feed into the track here. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Stop. Go ahead. It's probably some of the reefing lines are maybe hold on that. Yeah, so that's the thing about um Lazy jacks. They're great when you're dropping the seal, but putting the seal up the they can be a pain in the ass. Caught again. Here yeah, you grab that up now. Tell you when to shake it. Go ahead. And down a wee touch. And up. And up. That's him. No, that's just up tight enough or high enough to get. So with the boom attached, the next thing to do was attach the main sheet. So we attached the pulley block to the boom and then attached the pulley block for the traveller. 
the next issue was though that we had to actually remember how to feed the main sheet through the pulleys. This took a few attempts but we got there eventually. And that was that job done. Well, almost. Me and Kelly had to remind each other how to tie a figure of eight knot. But we got there in the end. So to test the engine, what I'm going to do is this is just a hose that goes into the impeller housing. I will put it into the sink and I have a water hose outside that I'll pour water into the sink. Start the engine and then this will suck the water out of the sink. All being well, she'll start fine and get her ready for launch in a couple of days time. Battery one, which is the starter battery. Well, she's definitely be bumping water out. I'll give that a, a thumbs up. That was brilliant to start the first time. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to disconnect this pipe. Which I just use for running antifreeze through the system when we are winterizing. Breath run up those stairs, and I'm re going to reconnect the intake from the through hole onto the intake of the impeller housing. So um, it's going to be all go this morning, but um, the boat I think is looking well, looking very much more like a sailboat now that all the sails are up and she's ready to go. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good day. Yes, lovely. You're glad to see this in? Huh? You'll be glad to see this I in. know exactly, it's been a long time coming. Looking well, man. All right. Well, yeah, going on, you? Yes. It looks a bit more like a boat now. It does, Well done. Well done, the two years, a lot of work on the boat. I've got this for, but maybe it's, it's going to be a job for next year. And the voice of positivity. You're the voice of reason. <laughs>
I'm sure people are thinking there's easier ways to get a boat into the water, but that's just the way this boat yard's set up, and it's a great boat yard. There's always plenty of people around to give you a hand. Great bunch of guys. at this point I realised rally boots would have been a good idea and it isn't very wise to throw a large rock into mucky water. <laughs> but it gave Kelly and the lads at the yard a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Do this bit. I did. <laughs> so that was most of the hard work done. All we had to do now is wait on the tide coming in, and all being well, the boat would float, and then we could take her off the trailer and head out for a day sailing. Come to this side because the tide breaks her that way, okay though. So, see that cleat there, just in the back? This one, yeah. Go! Catch her. Yeah, so go under the bar, love. Um, right and take because I don't want the rope going underneath the boat when the engine starts. So like here. Water? Yeah. Now you push us off those bars, love, and I'll take those ropes off. So if anybody knows the Alban Vega, they have a reputation for being very difficult to reverse or to steer in reverse. So what I'm doing here is a method that I had read on a forum and it's just to give um, blasts of Hello. throttle in reverse yeah. and then take the throttle off and hopefully the momentum of the boat going backwards will be enough to allow steerage with the rudder. 
and it seemed to be working okay but I, as you hear here I don't know whether it's that that's allowing the boat to steer pretty pretty well or whether it's a mixture of the prop wash and the tide counter counteracting each other. This is the best I've ever seen a reversing. Must be because she normally kick she must normally kick to the right but the tide's pushing it to the left. Think we're good to go forward? Yeah, I'm going forward now. So that was us making way. We were back in the water, the boat was floating, things were looking good. So we just motored out through the narrow channel beside the boat club where we were normally moored and headed out into Strangford Lock and then it was time to get the seals up. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free We had a great day sailing out on Strangford Lock. It was great to be back out on the water. We treated ourselves to some beers and a barbecue when we got back into the sailing club. We stayed overnight on the boat, which was the first time we'd done that. And the next morning, we untied the lines. Kelly stayed on the pontoon, and I just motored the boat back out to the mooring. 
It had been a great 24 hours back on the water. Easy peasy. Dream work. Well guys, that's it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again. <laughs>